Hi, good morning. My name is Dr. Surika Tiwari. I'm a practicing homeopath and a psychological counselor. I have two clinics, one in HSR layout and the other is in ACS layout. Air conditioning or air conditioners as a phenomena, they do two things. First, they cool the air around you. Second, they dehumidify the air around you. That is why they say that an AC room is generally very dry. Now, if we bring into focus a viral sickness, virus is between the living and the non-living, present in our environment all the time. But a virus cannot damage us till it finds a host cell. In the host cell, it finds a body in which it multiplies and it produces its impact. When you're sitting in a closed environment, the number of pores or the spores of the virus will remain, they will not go anywhere. Second, if the air is extremely dry, then you will find it easier to contact it through your own respiratory system. So to say that an air conditioning can give you virus sickness, not true. But virus sickness can make be more susceptible for you if you're in an AC environment all the time. Very true. So you must use your air conditioning to the best advantage of your sickness. Being in an AC environment all the time, not at all airing the rooms on non-AC hours and not making sure that all your upholstery in which the AC is used is not regularly fumigated are the contributory factors. And right now, why COVID is in the news is that the proportion of this virus in the air is very high. So a little small use, a little small segment can also make it more susceptible for you. So if we can use the AC intelligently, if we can use it in a timed way, and then we can always make sure that after the AC is switched off, the room is ventilated, then there can be a bit fine balance between comfort and caution.